Hi, Gold's been looking very strong the past couple months, so I wanted to show you what I did about it today. Um, let's just look at the candles first. So if you look at the candles, you can see starting back here, uh, middle December, we had a very strong up move, and it's doing a slow round bottom, and I think it's about to take off. So if you just look at this rise and this retracement just up to there, that is a um, bullish flag formation where this part's the flag and this part's the post, right? But if you continue to follow it, you get the slow round curve. It starts to break out from the previous high at this level. See, this is a little bit higher. And then it does another little round bottom and it comes up to here. Well, you can draw, see this yellow trend line? You can draw a line that connects all those highs. And what you have is actually a cup and handle. That's the C and H I wrote on here is it's a cup and handle. This is the cup, that's the handle. And the way that you project where the profits will run on a cup and handle uh, pattern is that you drop a line from the line that connects the, the brim <laughs> and the handle of the cup. You drop a line down to the bottom of the cup, right? So that's this yellow thick line here. And then you make a copy of it and you put the copy at the breakout point. Now we haven't broken out yet, but I expect that we will uh, next week, probably Monday. So uh, this shows that the price would go up to about here. Uh, however, I found that th these are very old uh, patterns. They've been around a long time. And in the past, uh, price probably would normally go to the top and it might this time and beyond. But I found that a lot of the traditional classic uh, chart patterns, price will uh, rise up to about half the projected uh, measured move and then reverse. And sometimes it'll recover and continue on and sometimes it won't. But it's a more uh, conservative target to uh, look at half the measured move, not the whole measured move. So I drew this yellow horizontal line that's uh, exactly half the distance of this uh, projected uh, price move, right? And then um, you can also look at this as an A, B, C, D. So this white line is from the low where this uh, leg began up to here. This is the high. And you make a copy of that line, project, uh, put the bottom of it at the bottom of your retracement, and this projects the top. So the middle of the uh, measuring move for the cup and handle is right here at this green line and the top of the a b c d projected move is right at this uh, 61.8 percent line so let's talk about those those are uh, fibonacci levels so i drew my fibonacci level my green area here from the top of this leg down to the bottom you can see zero percent to 100 percent so this is my fibonacci range and you could see that the uh, cup pulled down to between the 23.6% retracement and the 38.2% retracement. Now, the most common retracements that I see is 50% retracement, and it didn't even make it to the 38.2%, right? See, it started to recover before it ever made it to the 38.2%, which means this is a very strong momentum that it couldn't pull back even as far as the 38.2, let alone the 50% retracement. So it's a strong indication that uh, price will continue higher, right? So then above the zero, you have uh, Fibonacci extensions. So this is 27.2% uh, of this whole move added to the top of it. And this is 61.8% of this whole move from zero to 100 added to the top from here to there. Now they are very common um, destinations or objectives for the price to get to. So because there's two that line up with other patterns, like the 27.2 lines up with half the cup and handle projected move, like I said before, and, and this other one lines up up here. What I did was I got two uh, call spreads. So I got one call spread dated uh, for expiration on February 14th from 150 to 155. So 150 is here, 
155 is here. And uh, it only cost a little over a dollar. And the spread is $5. So that's an excellent uh, ratio. Right? Risk to reward ratio. The possible reward is $5. And I'm risking a little over $1. <clears throat> of course, each option spread represents 100 shares. So it's times 100. So that the dollar is really $100. Right? And then I took another one with an expiration date February 21st of the same spread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell one of them uh, when price hits the 27.2 uh, Fibonacci level that corresponds with half the cup and handle target. So when uh, price gets up to this point, I'm going to sell the near dated spread and then hopefully, you know, we'll probably get a, a bit of a dip and then it'll recover and then it'll go up to this point and I'll sell the other one. Mm. So, um, well, the reason I picked two different dates is that in a call spread, the shorter the time to expiration, the more dynamically the option prices respond to the underlying price movement. Right, and this. Uh, the underlying price movement here is the GLD uh, ETF that represents the moving gold futures, or maybe the spot gold. And um, this one's going, this is the one that we're going to sell first. So we can make more money in the spread because the price will increase faster with a closer dated expiration date. So that's why I picked this date. This should be a relatively fast, this is only a one week, um, or I'm sorry, two week uh, option from today uh, but this should only take maybe you know two two plus or minus one days to get there uh, and, and then we'll sell it and we don't have to worry about the expiration the other one is going to take longer to get up to this level so I picked the monthly um, option expiration which is three weeks out okay so that's what I got for this and uh, I'll keep this updated in the blog Ooh, which I forgot to put here but um, you can see it in my previous video. It's JMS tweets at or dot uh, blogspot dot com. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, I added a couple seconds <laughs> and put the uh, address for the uh, for the blog. And there's a lot of other posts on there that, if you like this one, you'll find the other ones uh, educational and interesting also. Okay, thanks. Bye.